Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. This is a mix it up tutorial. Uh, this is on setting up the Brian TTS. And we're using Brian TTS instead of the uh, TTS that is built in to mix it up because sometimes the mix up TTS doesn't always come through or it is delayed. And the reason why that happens is because uh, mix up reaches an API limit for the service that they use for TTS. I found this out by asking them in their Discord. Um, and it's been like two years, but I assume that's still the case. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to use a stream elements as an as a relay to um, have a reliable uh, TTS. If you find this video helpful, please uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want more videos like these. If you'd like to chat with me about uh, gaming, uh, mix it up or whatever, uh, follow me on twitch.tv slash minister gold. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is move your mouse to the top left, click on the menu, click on community commands, and search for Brian. Dial the command, and that is the minimum you have to do to have a Brian TTS. It works right out the box, so I could technically just stop this video right here and just tell you to download the command. <laughs> but there's a little more I'm going to tell you because. Um, Here's the thing. It starts off with just uh, user permissions, meaning anybody can use the command. So that means if somebody knows what your TTS command is called, if they type in like, let's say you call it you call it uh, Brian, and they type in exclamation point Brian and some words, well that means they can use TTS whenever they want. And some chatters like to abuse things, and I like to prevent that from happening, um, in the first place. So I'm going to show you how to safeguard it. Okay, so I have a command called uh, Brian, and these two pieces right here are what it comes with initially. I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, now, as far as safeguarding um, the Brian TTS command, I created a special identifier called um, dollar sign. Uh, well, it's called TTS redeemed, but dollar sign indicates a special identifier. So if this variable is true, then do the TTS stuff. Okay, so let's break down this command. So we have a variable, a special, a special identifier here called TTS escape text, and that is taking all args. So every word that appears after uh, the Brian command is what will be said. And it will be said because we have this is a sound action and it's being supplied to text equals right here. Okay. And then after all this is done, I add a special identifier. And set it back to false. And uh, make sure it's globally usable. And because it is set to false, um, after TTS is used, no one else can use it because this will be false, so it will not run. Okay, so that is how this command is set up. And before I go on to show you everywhere I am using this and where I set it up, I also want you to be aware that you don't have to use just Brian, okay? If you go to Google and type in uh, Stream Elements TTS Voices, the first result will take you here to lazypy.ro slash TTS. You have a long list of possible voices you could use from Stream Elements up to right before Stream Labs. Now I need to warn you that um, a lot of these voices work, but some of them don't. So you'd have to test it out before you actually are good with that. So if you set this to like Ivy instead of Brian. Dollar TTS escape text. You could use that. But if you don't like that, you can go back to Brian. Dollar TTS escaped text. Yeah. Okay. And so that is this command. And that's it. That's all you have to know for this. Okay. Now let's talk about where I am setting up the uh, TTS redeemed um, special identifier. Okay. So click on the menu. Uh, go to events. Now at the start of every stream, 
we have the special identifier here. So click on the drop down, uh, special, special, special identifier, hit the plus sign, calling it TTS redeemed, set to false, and it is globally usable. Okay. So that way it's created at the beginning of every stream. Okay. Now, as far as where I'm using it, I am using it everywhere I have, um, I, I use TTS. So uh, for my raids, um, for my bit alerts, um, for my subs, my resubs, my gift subs, um, yeah, everywhere I'm, I have an alert that uses TTS, I'm using that variable. So if you look at uh, if you look at raid when our channel is raided, uh, basically at the beginning of this, I have the special identifier um, action uh, TTS redeemed set to true, global usable. That way, when you come to Brian and it checks that conditional that I showed you, um, this will run. And after Brian is done, it'll be set to false. So I I don't actually need this this piece here because it's already done inside Brian. So we'll close that or uh, remove it. We'll save that. Okay, I'm gonna give you two more examples and that'll be pretty, pretty much be it. We'll look at uh, subbing and then uh, bits. Okay, so again, special identifier, add it, put it at the very top, TTS redeemed, true, globally usable. And so when Brian comes up over here, he'll be able to talk because of that conditional. We'll do one more example real quick, and that'll be it. Okay, so bits. I only have bits for 50 bits or more. I only have a TTS for 50 bits or more. So if bits amount is greater than 50, or greater than or equal to 50, but not 69, because I have a, an alert just for that, we're adding a special identifier within this conditional. Calling it TTS redeemed, same to true, globally usable. Brian will run because that's true now. And um, when it's done, it'll be set back to false. And that's it. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. So basically, at the beginning of every event, uh, if that event uses uh, Brian TTS, then set the TTS redeemed special identifier to true. And at the end of uh, the Brian TTS command, inside that command, is you should be setting the TTS redeemed special identifier to false. And yeah, hopefully it makes sense while I'm doing that. And hopefully it makes sense while you're not, while you can't just set um, the permissions to streamer and moderator, because then only those users could be actually able to use Brian TTS, because if the user isn't a moderator or a streamer, then channel rewards will not play TTS, raids will not play TTS, and so on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if this video is helpful to you, uh, please leave me a like. And if you want more videos like these, please subscribe. If you'd like to talk about gaming, uh, mix it up or whatever. Follow me on twitch.tv slash ministergold, and thank you for listening. All right, adios.